Liam, you must be delighted to, to win 3-0 here. Clean sheet, um, home, first home win of the season, which you've waited such a long time for, but also the manner and, and the, the sort of way in which the performance panned out. Yeah, I think it's a, quite a frightening statistic that you know it's our first home league win of the season. Uh, I will turn around and say like the last five league games have all been away. So, uh, but I, I thought in the first half, I thought we, you know it was a really cultured performance. Uh, we were good on the ball. The interplay between the front four was good. Dion was in the game. Gilly was clever. Brad kept on getting into good positions. Uh, Jordan Archer led the line really well, uh, which in that lead enabled us to be able to play good football. So to, to be fair to Chester. You know, they've come out at half time and they had a right good goal. They've gone, you know, it looked at what's one stage they had four up front. Uh, so we had to defend it well. Then the fog come and then I was worrying. Oh no, here we go. And then uh, to be fair they cleared up a little bit. Uh, changes. It's nice to have options of bringing Andy Parry on, bringing Jack Sampson on and bringing Devan on. We were always going to get a little bit of a break. Well, and that's not down to us playing great, that's down to the fact that Chester are having a right good go. Uh, so I tried to pick him off, but you know, I've just said to the players, don't get carried away. Uh, it's a 3-0 win. I said, but you know, we've got to go to the Diva on the first. And you know, to be fair to John and Bernard, you know, they've got Livesey, they've got Stockford, they've got Asante all out to start in 11. So, we know we've caught them on a good day, uh, make no bones about it, but we've got to go there. And, and to be fair, you know, p teams have got us on a good day as well when we've had people out, but you know, we've we made the most of them being a little bit weakened, uh, but we also know that they're going to be a lot stronger when we do play them on New Year's Day, so you know, we've got to be right. Well, it's only three points, but what it does say going into the Christmas period, it, it's a great one to back up Ashton United. You have in your mind there, perhaps uh, 2009 10 and that, that uh, incredible uh, double, double Christmas game with uh, Fleetwood Town but just in terms of the performance the goals they seem to come at good times because we had some chances early on and in a game sometimes they we've just seen it slip away from us but we were clinical and we took the chances uh, well as I said we missed a couple of great chances you know Gilly's missed ahead of Minsa on underneath the bar which we've had a couple of set pieces I think it's a penalty on Joe Narch I know he's clipped over the keeper but he's actually then been wiped out but anywhere else on the on the on the pitch it's a pen uh, but you know, don't get me wrong I think Dan Amford pulled one great save off it that goes 2-1 and all of a sudden it's game on and I said to the players at half time going out there's only one group of players who can look soft now and that was us uh, but I thought we defended really well uh, honest performance and you know as I said we take that into Alfreton where you know again we've got to be about our business and, and try and get somewhere and you, more points. You look at the sort of squad shape you've been able to make changes and, and not really had a weaker side for it so that's really good isn't it you know the, the fact that you've Jack Sampson plays sadly you've changed it around Gilchrist and Archer have come in changed the shape slightly and we're making changes but still winning games. Yeah I said it, it was really difficult you know for number nine to actually lead the line which Samuel did really really well on what you'd describe as a quagmire of a pitch uh, I was always going to start Jordan today you know but that doesn't mean to say I won't start the two of them together because we did at Boston and we thought we were very very good in the first half away at Boston so uh, that's a bit obviously Brad's come off with a little bit of a, a knock Ryan Astles was carrying a bit of a knock towards the end but you know we've already used the three subs which yeah, that's the way it goes. I left Jordan Richards out, who's been really steady. Uh, but Dean's put in a good performance at right back. So, you know, from that point of view, we, uh, you know, we take the positives, try and clear us, get ourselves steady, and then uh, go into Alfreton with the same sort of like anticipation of uh, actually giving a good performance. James come thick and fast, Alfreton sat the on a run. We hope we just take that form on now and that resilience in the dressing room. Well, as I said, yeah, instead of looking down where we have been all season, we, you know, we've been in a, in a, a position where we shouldn't be with the players we had, but that was the case of what it was. Uh, you know, obviously, then we've missed out games at cup runs and stuff like that. But you know, we've got a couple of games in hand. But instead of looking down, you know, we should start looking up. I said, but you only look up take one step at a time, every win's another one choked off, every win's closer to making sure that we're not looking below us and as I said, you know, uh, hopefully one or two people might, might start getting a bit wary of us.